We're going to work with projected views uh, in this video a little bit. But what I want to do is I want to start with my standard three views of my bushing again. And I'm going to go ahead and change the scale on them to 2 to 1 again. Okay. But in this one, what I want is I want this view right here, which is currently my right side view, I want it to be my front view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete out my front view and my top view. And I'm going to put my, what was my right side view, I'm going to make that my front view. And I'm going to do a couple of things with it. I'm going to delete out the center lines, and I'll show you why in a second. But let, now let's go to projected view. So I click on projected view. I click on my front view, and I can project a top view off of that front view. Let's go ahead and put the hidden lines in. Remember, I can do that both up here on this toolbar or on the left-hand side, uh, hidden lines visible. At this point, I can go ahead and put my center mark in that one as well. All right. On the right side view, I want to create a section through this. And that is under Drawings and Section View. I'm just going to hover the mouse over so I have this quadrant right here, and then just bring the mouse up, and then click and pull the mouse straight down, and then stop the mouse where I want to create the section. It automatically creates a section, and I can pull it where I want the section. Uh, again, in the section view, I want my center line in here. So that's under annotations again. Center line, and it puts it in. We can again create a uh, projected view off of our front view for the isometric. Remember, the isometric is not tied to the other view, so I can pull it over here and make it a solid color. So we've created a section view. Uh, we've done a projected view. We've rearranged where we wanted the views. Uh, remember, this view started out at, as our right side view. We moved it to the front view and then created our other views off of it.